couple built a shelter in their home to escape the nuclear bomb. As soon as they entered the underground shelter, there was a violent explosion on the ground. Calvin, a scientist, was terrified. He thought the world was really coming to an end. Calvin rushed to close the door, so that everything outside could be sealed off. Once the door was closed, it would only open automatically after 35 years, but they would never have thought. It wasn't the end of the world out there. It was just a plane that went out of control and crashed near his house. They started a 35-year-long underground life because of a misunderstanding. The wife was pregnant but gave birth to the baby out of shock. The unfortunate thing is, this child will spend 35 years underground. But luckily, his father had built a powerful home in the basement. In addition to stocking up on everyday necessities to survive for 35 years, there are also some interesting ecosystems. The family can spend their free time catching fish and growing flowers. They can even shop in the warehouse. Although Adam was isolated from the world, he grew up very healthy. His scientist father, Calvin, taught him a lot of knowledge and skills, and Helen taught him how to be popular with the girls. On the ground at this time, workers found a manhole cover in the blown-up yard. They thought it was a septic tank so they didn't care. So a sweet store was built on Adam's family's yard. Time flies. Adam is 35 years old. On his birthday, Helen used the last ingredients to make a birthday cake for him. Adam made a silent wish for his birthday. He wished he could find a wife. That night, the door of the shelter was activated automatically. The family was awakened. They were finally able to get out and see the outside world. Calvin rushed to open the metal door. They were so excited to be on the safe side. Calvin put on his protective suit and decided to go up to the ground first to check the situation. Calvin came to the ground with a puff of smoke. The bar owner on the ground thought he had seen a ghost today. He fainted from fear. Their house was no longer there, but a rundown bar. The formerly busy neighborhood was gone. Calvin came out into the street in the pouring rain and saw people eating garbage like crazy on the side of the road. He met a girl and wanted to ask about the situation, but as soon as she spoke, Calvin realized he was a man. Calvin was terrified. He rushed back to the shelter. He told his family that the outside world was completely contaminated. Humans have mutated. We mustn't go out. Helen couldn't sit still. She had waited 35 years for this day. She couldn't stand this dark life anymore. They started arguing. That's when Calvin had a heart attack. But the family had run out of medicine and supplies. Helen had to send Adam out on the ground to buy supplies for the next 20 years. Before Adam left, he took with him the collector's cards and stocks his father had given him. Adam left the shelter where he had lived for 35 years. Adam slowly pushed open the door. It was the first time he saw the sunlight. Passersby didn't understand and thought Adam had seen something mysterious. Adam saw so many people on the street. He greeted everyone with enthusiasm. Adam went to the supermarket again. But 35 years later, prices have skyrocketed. He couldn't buy much with the money he had. So he went to a collector's store to sell the baseball cards his dad gave him for money. When the owner saw the pile of valuable baseball cards like antiques, he was very excited and his eyes lit up. But the boss was very happy after communicating with Adam because he found that Adam did not know the value of these cards. So the boss said I want to buy the whole box for $500. And Adam was so happy, he thought he had made a profit. Well, the clerk couldn't stand the deception. She said to Adam, you can buy this owner's store with just one card. You can imagine the result. Eve was dismissed. And Adam is the first time to see such a kind and beautiful girl. He fell in love with her at first sight and couldn't help but catch up with her. But Eve thought she had met a gangster. So she ran away immediately. Adam caught up with Eve and said he was very sorry because he made Eve lose her job. He came up with a great idea. He would hire Eve to sell cards for him. This way he could keep himself safe from being ripped off and help Eve at the same time. Eve had to agree to Adam's high salary offer. I have to say that Adam may look silly, but he's not a bad tease at all. Soon they had bought a truckload of supplies. Eve wondered why Adam had to buy so much stuff. But she didn't think too much about it. Because ever since she met Adam, he's always been weird. He was always curious about everything. He can't help but jump into the ocean when he sees it. He was even obsessed with being in the rain. He became interested in this mysterious man after spending a few days with him. She learned through chatting that Adam's biggest wish was to find a wife, so Eve took Adam to the bar. She wanted to teach him some flirting skills, but she didn't expect Adam to have a talent for hooking up. Not only was he fluent in a foreign language, but he was also a very good dancer. He danced with two beautiful girls and had a great time. They became the center of attention. Eve's jealousy was instantly knocked over, so she got a dance partner too. When Adam saw that, he felt bad too. He wanted to take Eve with him, 
but this also angered the man. But the man did not know that Adam had been practicing boxing since he was a child. He was no match for Adam. Eve came home and learned from her brother that Adam had left with another woman. Eve said I don't care, but her body betrayed her. She went out to find Adam, but then Adam actually came back on his own. He even made Eve fall down in fear. When they got home Adam gently cleaned her wound. Adam felt that the time was right, so he confessed his love to Eve. Eve was also completely fallen in love. She had just fallen in love with the man in front of her, but he said he was going to take her underground. Adam said, I've been living in an underground shelter for 35 years since I was born. Eve was stunned. She thought Adam was crazy, so she had to send him away. When Adam came to pick Eve up the next day, he was happy, but Eve found him a psychiatrist to treat him. Luckily, Adam was smart enough to get away. Before he left, he left Eve all those valuable baseball cards, and her brother found out that the stock Adam left behind was over 30 years old. The stock is now worth millions. Adam has returned to his underground home. He was so disillusioned that he no longer believed in love. He plans to continue living in the basement, and Eve realizes that she may have been wrong about Adam. Because she went to the hotel where Adam used to stay and found that all of his daily necessities were over 30 years old. Eve regretted it. She wanted to find Adam. She didn't know if she'd ever see Adam again. But just then Adam appeared on the side of the road. Eve rushed out of the car. She was so excited that she hugged Adam tightly. This time Adam took Eve back to his underground home as he had hoped. Her parents were overjoyed to see her. Later Adam sold all his stocks for money. He also chose an open area in the countryside to build a new house. Adam got everything ready and brought his parents from the underground to the surface. Adam told Calvin that there was no nuclear war in the world. Calvin was confused. He suspected that the family had lived underground for all those years for nothing. Helen was so happy to see the sky she hadn't seen for a long time. While Helen was soaking up the view, Calvin was measuring the yard again. He was preparing to build the next shelter. But it doesn't matter anymore. A family is happy together. Everyone has their own comfort zone. We are comfortable in our comfort zone. But if we take a step forward, we will find that the world is really big. You can subscribe and leave comments if you have any ideas. Thanks for watching. See you next time.